Hey guys, uh, this is Ahmed again, A to Z Auto Masters. Uh, we got a 2015 Honda Accord uh, with a 2.4 liter. Uh, it's a very basic video. Uh, we're doing brake pads and front brake pads on this car. It's very simple stuff. Uh, probably a lot of people know how to do it. Uh, that's for the people that really don't know how to do it. Uh, we're just gonna go a very quick video. It's simple stuff and we uh, will show how brakes are done. So. On those cars, number number one, safety is very important. If you're gonna be doing this on the ground, so make sure you have a floor jack, you have a uh, jack stand, you cannot rely on a floor jack by itself. You don't want the car to come down on you while you're doing a job. Uh, in this case, we're doing it on the lift. Make sure it's set up. You're gonna go up with the car, take the wheels off, it's all simple stuff. Now we just do a quick video about the brakes. Just doing pads. So right there, that's the caliper. You have two bolts holding the caliper to the bracket. You need to get these out. In this case, it's a Honda. It's always a 14 in a Honda. So here we go. One bolt of that. Two. There we go, the caliper is off. Pads, right there, right there. Get the brake pads out, is the shims. We always change shims with every brake job. So, get them out of the way and change them. I like to hit it with a little bit of air. Top one. Okay, you got caliper grease. Always grease the calipers when you do a brake job. You pull these pins out. Don't tear the boot. See that boot right there? That's what keep the dust out. So, right there. Pull them out. Wipe right, them nice and clean. Fresh grease, it has to be caliper grease for heat, they get really hot. Right there, don't be cheap with the grease. Don't these brakes function right. Here we go, both pins are in. You need to push this caliper back. Here we go. There's multiple tools out there you can use. I like this one. Here we go. Calipers pushed out. Get the pads. One the outer pad, so right here. In this case, if every car is a little bit different, you have a little sh the shim is has like a, a spring loaded pin that pushes the pads back so it won't get stuck inside. So that's just with this car. Line them up, Put the caliper back. Push the pins in, here we go, it's in place. If you're doing, rotors are great in this car, the car only have 30,000 miles, rotors are fine. Uh, if we're doing rotors, you have these two bolts back there, one here, one up top, that's what's holding the bracket. You're gonna have to take these out so the rotor can come out. 
In this case, we're only doing pads. We don't need to put these two bolts out. We're leaving the caliber bracket in. So just, uh, just gonna grab this with a quick vice grip for now, just to make sure it's snug. Doesn't have to be too tight. Caliper bracket, yes, but the caliper itself, these two bolts don't have to be too tight. They're tight, but not extremely tight. Don't uh, don't go out of your way to to break it or strip. That's it. Caliper is in. Pads are in. We're good. <laughs>